Hi, this is Robert from thinkvacuums.com. Today we're going to introduce the S7 Miele. They've introduced their upright. It's one of the best selling vacuums already in our store. First of all, it is a very modern shape, a very modern design. There's German engineering behind it. The machine itself is made of Lexon, which is unbreakable. This material lasts forever. It doesn't collect any dirt, any dust. It more or less is a new wave of how they're building vacuums today. This vacuum is what they call a HEPA certified vacuum. HEPA certified means there is a cartridge inside the vacuum. Uh, to replace the filter, take it out like this, you throw it away, you have the option of putting a new filter inside the machine, or you can get a charcoal filter. This is considered an uh, active air clean filter. There is an option of going that filter, or again, the HEPA filter is what we recommend. Uh, it's very easy to put it back in, closes, and it's good for about a year. This is the compartment where the bag area is and contains all the dirt. We're going to show you how to change a bag out in the S7. You pull the bag down, it self seals, no dirt will escape out of the bag. You throw the bag away, you put a fresh bag in the vacuum, the vacuum then closes, that's all done. In the back of the vacuum, Right here, you have the dusting brush, which is a very soft bristle, uh, made for lampshades, just dusting high shelves. There's an long, extra long crevice tool that is located in the back of the machine, as well as an upholstery tool. Um, this particular upholstery tool is great for pet hair, couches, um, beds. The hose that's attached to the vacuum is an extra long hose. And the idea of using this hose is to put it in the position to hear a click. That will stabilize the vacuum so it won't tip over as you're using the attachments. The uh, handle of the hose uh, has a swivel design, so there's really no tangling of the hose. Each attachment goes on the end of the hose. And for longer, higher reach, you hit a special button, and that will hyperextend the attachment to do high ceilings, as well as taking the pipe off. You can then do the crevices of your couches. The S7 has two back wheels and two swivel wheels in the front of the machine. The back wheels are for stability when it's in the upright position. It's very stable, it will not fall over. The wheels are made of rubber or neoprene. They are non-marking so it can be used on wood floors as well as tile. When you engage the handle of the vacuum, the back wheels sink into the body, which then becomes a very easy swiveling motion in the front of the vacuum. These are the two casters in the front of the machine that swivel, which give it a very easy glide motion. The brush roller of the S7 is a fully automatic adjustable brush roller. It's very unique in the vacuum world. What it does, it basically will self-adjust to any height of carpeting, whether you have thick carpeting or thin carpeting, even if you do flooring such as tile. The design of the brush roller of the S7 is a full-length brush roller that consists of stiff bristles to really rake the hair and dirt and sand out of your carpeting. The brush roller's shape, or the design of the brush roller, is called a chevron design, which literally will bring the dirt from the sides towards the center of the vacuum, where the suction of the vacuum is most powerful, this rubber strip right here that is located right in the back of the brush roller prevents the dirt and sand from kicking in the back of the machine as you're vacuuming. The S7 has a great feature about this vacuum in that you have a switch that will enable you to do either carpeting or bare floors such as wood, tile, or marble. You have another switch right here which will stop the brush roller and right now we're gonna show you how it does work on tile and wood extremely well. that comes on the S7 is great for corners and crevices. 
There's an attachment on the end that you can put on the end of the pole. Turn the vacuum on. And this will enable you to get the corners and crevices demonstrate now the sound of the S7 in comparison to an average vacuum on the market. This is what a normal vacuum would typically sound like. This is now what a Mila S7 sounds like. Again, this is Rob from thinkvacuums.com. If you have any further questions about the S7 series or any of the Miele vacuums, please don't hesitate to give us a call. You can actually even speak with myself at 1-800-322-2965. Thank you very much.